A man without a beard is like a lion without a mane. Do you know who said that? No, seriously, do you know who said that? I, I, I've got no clue. Well, let's see. There are the obvious historical figures. Karl Marx, or Charles Darwin, Socrates. Johan Haig, Billy Gibbons. Leonardo da Vinci, Walt Whitman. Zach Wilde. Ernest Hemingway. Facey McStublington, Alan Ginsberg, Charlie Manson, Brian Blessed, and uh, Jesus. They, they would all be idols, I. Emulating celebrities, well, it was never really a part of it for me. It was more emotional, an awakening. The first time I saw myself with facial hair, I was like, wow, that's me, that's who I am. It is a serious business, winning a beard. It's not for everyone. It takes resolve, commitment. I feel no superiority to anyone who chooses to go clean shaven, but someone who chooses to wear a beard for the wrong reasons, that's, that's different. It shouldn't be a frivolous decision. It's not about fashion, although it can inevitably be in fashion. Hipsters brought the beard back, as the people say, and they ruined it. Bloody hipsters. Journalists nowadays write articles with headlines like, oh, have we reached peak beard? You never used to get that before. I remember the days before beards were fashionable. I mean, they were facial hair, it's kind of a weirdo. Walking down the street, people would shout, Oh Hagrid, where's Harry? Or, Oh Chewbacca, where's Han? Or even weirder ones like, Oh Mr Frodo, where's the one ring? Doesn't he make sense for two reasons? Frodo oh, didn't even have a bloody beard! And second? Eh, uh, well, I'm no a hobbit. Is that no obvious? No. No, I can't think of anyone making any insulting comments to me. More likely to get the opposite. I get compliments. An awful lot of compliments. It draws people to me. They want to inspect it. To touch it. To caress it. To kiss it. They want to be in the same room with it. Just to be near it. Proper beard maintenance is paramount. And there's several, several different schools of thought. Uh, me personally, it involves deep scrubbing with a high-grade cleanser several times a week. Then, of course, gently patted dry and massaged vigorously for several hours with my personal brand of beard oil. I wake up super early in the morning. It is astonishing the myriad of irritants that can cause damage to a beard over the course of a normal day. Wear, uh, pollution, diet, loud or obnoxious music, awkward situations in coffee shops, vindictive psychic energy from your enemies, flash photography, nutrition, enrichment, However, and whatever is required, soothing flute music, for one, crystal therapy, that works. Sometimes I'll recite poetry, intellectual stimulation can be more important than diet. A man's relationship with his beard, and it is a relationship. It's a symbiotic one. If you are attuned to your beard's needs, if you really listen, you don't need to ask anyone else. At the beginning, a man might think that his beard is his friend, but the relationship goes deeper than that. 
much deeper. It's really more like lovers. Her name is Susan. Now that's not the name I chose. When I realised she needed a name, I wanted to call her Forseti, after the Viking God of Justice. But in the end, it just wasn't right. It wasn't her. To be honest, I don't feel like I named her at all. She named herself. She chose Susan. <laughs> Everything I have, I owe to my beard. My career, my travels, every home we've had, every good meal we've had, all the friendships I've won, the women I've lain with, and the men. I've taken part in competitions, and I've won. Lost a couple of times too. That can be really hard to take. But it really, it, it can shake your confidence. Leaves you wondering, who can have a better beard than me? I mean, who's better than Susan? Maybe he's better than you, baby. Maybe. Would you ever consider entering a beard competition? No, no, I, I, I could never do anything like that. I could never take part in that. Competition. I know my limitations. And I'm aware that uh, I could never be part of that crowd. Painfully aware. Prizes are meaningless. What good would they do me? I've been offered every kind of worldly possession, every luxury. People I don't even know have begged me to join my religion. I don't even have a religion. At least, not yet. The thing is, I know, however hard I work, that my beard will never reach those heights. That doesn't stop me from comparing what I have to others and being riddled with feelings of Inadequacy. Feelings that are hard to live with. Impossible to accept. There are even times where I may see someone in the street and be so overwhelmed at the lustrous glory of their beard that I can, I can only conclude that man does not deserve another moment's life. I don't know if there's any community, but there is, I think, an unspoken bond between the bearded. You'll see an old man, a stranger, and instantly feel the connection. You might never speak, you might never make eye contact, but the connection is real, like your beards are talking to one another. Sometimes I wonder what they say. Oh, there's jealousy. No doubt about that. People get jealous. There will always be those who have it in for you. They don't even know you, but they hate you. They want to destroy you because of your beard. Because of its beauty and its power. Oh, yes. I have guilt. Not many. Not enough to really weigh on the conscience to any degree. But blood has been spilled. These are things that had to happen. I knew, as soon as I saw them, I knew that it was them or me. Seeing something so wondrous and allowing it to continue, I knew I could never live with myself. The shame. So I, I acted in self-defense, really. And I don't 
want to. But if I find myself in another position like that, if I have to, I know I will kill again. Listen, I don't begin every day think about the hair in my face. Honestly, I don't give it that much thought. But I know what it does for me. For my look. For my confidence. My sense of self. It enriches my life. And if I'm out walking down the street and I have to turn a couple of heads, it's just a bonus. Yay. Shall I stop this? Do uh, we just yeah. play the film? Scene <laughs> <laughs> two, take, Shot two, take, take four, four, one. take three. Action.